34-year-old Ezekiel Hopkins facing charges, including two counts of first-degree murder. John and Jay Savy. Police say the father and son were killed last week, confronting a car burglar at their home in this Windermere-gated community. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Poet, and I live on Rancho San Julian, 14,000 acres. Everything here inspires all of my cooking. These are golden delicious apples. My husband, Austin, is the hardest working guy I know. We have a partnership in our marriage, we have a partnership in raising our children, but we also have a partnership in work. Some people go to the gym, we stack hay. We're gonna slowly be pushing the cattle down the valley. I've been hosting since I was a really young girl. These shows are like hosting friends and bringing them into my kitchen and bringing them onto the life at the ranch and being able to share all of these things that I make at home. Our chickens produce so many eggs every day. The way that we are able to get anything done around here is with our community and all of our neighbors. They all come to help. And one of the ways that we thank them is food. It's about making really good, fresh, simple food. Daydriana Holmes, Tiala Alexander, Televille Coleman, and Enzo Ubadima of being involved in robbing this Vietnamese restaurant on New Year's Day, then shooting and killing this man in front of his family when he tried to fight them back. Herman Ray Browning Jr. was killed in front of his wife and eight-year-old son. Jacobson arrested Hamilton in the murder of 21-year-old Catherine Selinsky Blaine, a manager at the then-trendy Rib Rack restaurant. She'd been shot on the back of the head, a jury's acquittal after two mistrials. 24-year-old John Deloney arrested and indicted, and according to officials, pictured in these photos will face the death penalty for the crime. In one picture, the victim's wife can be seen ducking in a corner, trying to get away from the trigger man. 50-year-old Richard Evans was gunned down at his cosmic pizza shop.